President Joe Biden doesn't hide the fact that he has stuttered since childhood. He's often required to speak in public and at high profile events, a task seemingly unimaginable to many and even more impressive considering Biden is one of 70 million people worldwide who stutter. And while traditional treatment for stuttering is concentrated on fluency or trying to cure stuttering, there's a completely different approach happening at the Moody College of Communication, focusing on the person instead of their stutter. To see Joe Biden as a person who stutters as a president is, is unique. It's really important to see that representation. And it's really important for young kids to know that people who stutter are able to accomplish whatever they set their mind to. For the young people who stutter, who watch him and think, well, maybe one day I will sound like him. What I want them to think is maybe one day I'll be president too. And when I'm president, I will still stutter. And my stuttering will be different than his stuttering, just like my stuttering is different from every other person I know who stutters. And my stuttering isn't gonna stop me from being anything that I wanna be. When I watch Star Trek and when I watch Harry Potter, they make people look not as cool when people stutter. I spent years trying to mask it and hide it, pretend I didn't, pretend it didn't exist. I would shy away from any questions. I wouldn't raise my hand, I wouldn't speak. And that was, it was terrible. It was bad for my health, bad for me, bad for my friends. Over 70 million people in the world stutter. I, I wish all 70 million people could get the experience that I've experienced and that these participants are experiencing um, here at the Blank Center. In 2020, UT and the Moody College of Communication were given the chance to make a profound difference to the stuttering community by being awarded a $20 million legacy grant from the Blank Family Foundation in order to establish the Arthur M. Blank Center for Stuttering Education and Research. And I think about the number of people that will be affected both here nationally and the numbers vary all over the place. We're going to have an impact on people's lives and uh, there's no higher human calling than being able to impact somebody else's life. The Blank Center would help to expand the vision and work of Dr. Courtney Bird. People who stutter encounter substandard care for stuttering on a regular basis and most people will report that what they found that wasn't effective was when their therapy focused exclusively on talking fluently. What we really focus on here is teaching basic communication skills that never leave them once they learn them. What can be maintained is an overall effective manner of communicating. So learning how to gesture, learning how to make good eye contact. What's really exciting is that our data also demonstrate that when they can achieve those competencies and people are listening to them, they don't see the stuttering anymore. Honestly, they, they aren't necessarily trying to fix you. They base everything on confidence and making you a better communicator and making you comfortable with, with your stutter and realizing that it's okay. We've proven that empirically, that there's a way in which you can share about your stuttering that empowers you uh, build your own personal confidence, but also it, it changes the way the listener views you. They think of you as being more confident of being able to do any job that requires communication because you told them that you could. How a lot of people see stuttering and how I initially saw stuttering actually was that it is a problem. It is something that can and needs to be fixed, which is not true at all. Uh, stuttering is a unique ability that people should embrace. It's something that is amazing and beautiful. Over the 10-year life of the Legacy Grant, the Blank Center will continue to impact the lives of individuals in the Austin community, while additional satellite centers will be established internationally. It's a, a great way to introduce people to, hey, this is what stuttering is, this is what it does, and this is how it's cool. Are you ready? Yeah! It allows you to see it from a whole new perspective, and it's kind of amazing. It's what put me on this path to become a speech pathologist. Dr. Bird and, and the Institute have really changed my life, and I don't mean that in any exaggeration in any way or form. I used to fade away from public speaking and things, and now I'm a DJ and I'm on the mic. I just feel accepted that I belong. I am here, and I'm welcomed here. Dream, speak, live embodies all of what we hope for, for our participants and for the students 
and for the families of the children, teens, and adults who stutter that we work with. You know, stuttering essentially robs them from dreaming. But what we see here at the center is that as they begin to build their communication skills, as they begin to learn about what stuttering is, as they begin to learn how to effectively advocate for themselves, the light begins to come back on and they start to dream again. And I'm gonna keep trying to help as many people as I can and the more people that I help, the more people who stutter I'm gonna be indebted to for all that they've taught me about how to better help the stuttering community.